today let's uh, take up some journal entries let's try to understand how to make journal entries let's take certain transactions and uh, we'll write down the journal entries for them the first transaction that i take here b commences a business with the capital of rupees let's say 5 lakhs trading under the name of ratan industries now d commences a business with a capital of rupees 5 lakh d is the proprietor of this firm the name of the firm is given here fine so he is bringing in capital of rupees 5 lakh means he is bringing cash and that will become the capital that will become his capital right okay so now we have seen in our previous uh, sessions the rules of debit and credit they form the basic uh, for any transaction so first of all here again i'll repeat the same thing i'll follow the traditional approach personal account real account nominal accounts right uh here capital account first first one is cash account the next one is we put it as d's capital account because d is the proprietor the capital account it is his personal account right so it is d's capital account so here this is the personal account and this is the real account right this we have seen earlier also i am repeating it this is real account the amount is 5 lakh cash is coming in right and the rule for uh, real accounts if you remember it's debit what comes in credit what goes out right so here it's basically this debit what comes in so cash is coming in means cash will be debited so we'll write cash account dr dr is the short form for debit right and a personal account d is giving that d is giving the cash right so credit the giver that is the rule for the personal account debit the receiver credit the giver right so now here we'll say two whenever you put the credit side we'll write two d's two it will come as two two d's capital account that is the account okay now see this is the journal and uh, i showed you the format of the journal the last session okay i'll make it here this is the date here the date is not given in in the questions where the date is not given you will leave the date as empty right <clears throat> you'll not write anything in that column fine now this is the date column this is the particulars column and here you had the ledger folio this is the debit amount and this is the credit amount right so here <coughs> the debit amount 5 lakh and for the credit amount again you will write 5 lakh right and here you will write the narration being cash brought by the by d for starting the business right there is no uh, specific uh, wording which is to be followed in the narration you can write the narration in your own words but the thing is the narration should explain the journal entry properly like what is uh what is uh, 
uh, basically the transaction right okay hmm? okay now let's look at one more entry let's say cash uh, deposited into Punjab National Bank rupees 60,000 right okay now look at this now what are the accounts involved in this this is cash account and bank account cash is being deposited in the bank right now cash is a real account and bank as I said is a personal account okay when we deposit cash into the bank right first of all cash is going out of the business cash is going out I am taking out cash from the business and putting it into the bank right so cash is going out so we'll write credit what goes out that is the rule credit what goes out debit what comes in credit what goes out for the personal account now bank is treated as a person here and bank is receiving the money from the business right so personal account here I'll write bank is receiving the money right bank is receiving the money so uh, what is the rule for personal accounts debit the receiver debit the receiver right so here debit the receiver bank account so here again it will be in the proper uh, journal format date you will not make uh, this format for each and every entry separately I am just uh, putting it like this all the transactions will be given to you and you will make one journal uh, format like this and you will keep on writing the entries one below the other right so here in the particular column you will have bank account debit bank account debit to cash account right so bank account is debited with this amount 60,000 and cash account is credited with 60,000 right and here you will write being cash deposited in PNB that's it this will be the narration right one more entry let's see bought goods for cash rupees 52,000 right now here goods means what the firm is dealing in right the main uh, business line of the uh, company so they are buying the goods for selling it for their business right so bought goods for cash rupees 52,000 we don't have anything called the goods account when we buy the goods it is basically purchases account right and the other account that is being affected here is the cash account bought goods for cash so when we buy goods we are basically paying money for that in the form of cash right so when I buy something I have to pay cash means cash is going out right and what is cash cash is a real account the rule for real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out so here it is cash is going out means credit what goes out as far as purchases account is concerned this is a nominal account right when I purchase something it is an expense for me because I am paying cash for that it is basically an expense right so what is the rule for nominal account here debit all expenses and losses so remember purchases account will always have a debit balance and sales account will always have a credit balance okay 
so whenever a purchase is coming purchases account will always be debited purchases account debit and cash account will be credited over here this is to cash account right the amount will come 52000 the amount in the debit and credit has to be the same if you put 52000 in the debit and 50000 in the credit it won't tally right so both the it's one transaction only the one transaction has got two effects amount will be the same right here being uh goods purchased for cash right so <clears throat> this is bought goods for cash i'll show you one more entry which is let's uh, take an entry which is uh, we looked into a cash purchase here this is a cash purchase wherein we pay the cash immediately and buy something there is something called a credit purchase credit purchase basically means i am buying from a person and uh, buying from uh, some particular individual or a firm whatever and we are not paying the amount immediately we are not paying the money immediately it's a credit purchase means we have been given some time to pay the money so generally it can be 15 days one month two months three months whatever right but uh, normally it is something like 2 3 months it can't go beyond 1 year or something like that that depends on the credibility of the purchaser right so credit purchase whenever we have a credit purchase see there is a difference in the transaction bought goods from let's say hari chand right for rupees uh 25000 now in this transaction there is no mention of a cash in the earlier transaction you see it says bought goods for cash rupees 52000 even if i had written some name here from ramesh right even then the cash is coming for cash means it is a cash purchase in this transaction bought goods from hari chand there is no mention of a cash it is a credit purchase fine in a credit purchase there is no cash involved when you buy the goods it is always the purchaser's account and now here i am buying from this person hari chand so the second account that will be affected is hari chand account right purchaser's account as we saw it has got a debit balance nominal account debit all expenses and losses right so this will be debited now hari chand account this is basically a personal account right and the rule for personal account is debit the receiver credit the giver now what is hari chand doing here debit the receiver credit the giver right hari chand is giving us the goods we are buying the goods from hari chand means hari chand is the giver of goods he is giving me the goods so he is basically giving the goods means hari chand account will be credited credit the giver right so the journal entry for this will be purchases account debit to hari chand account so remember whenever you have a credit purchase right the uh, supplier who is uh, giving you the goods will be credited and purchases account will be debited so the amount here is 25000 and this is 25000 right and here you write the narration being goods purchased from hari chand like this right so we have seen four journal entries here one is commencing of the business cash deposited into the bank bought goods for cash this is a cash purchase and also we have seen the journal entry for credit purchase So with that I'll come to the end of this session we'll take up more journal entries in our next session bye